The All-American Solar Eclipse of August 21, 2017 is set to be the year's biggest celestial event. The eclipse is a must-see, but you need to know what you're doing to avoid injuring your eyes. Here are some tips for enjoying safe sun. Rick Feinberg of the American Astronomical Society has seen lots of solar eclipses. He has some advice and warnings about viewing the August 21, 2017 eclipse. He says everything depends on whether you're in the roughly 70-mile wide path of totality, stretching from Oregon to South Carolina. Only in that narrow zone will you experience a total eclipse in which it'll get dark and, weather permitting, you'll see the corona, the sun's ethereal atmosphere. During totality, when the moon is completely blocking the sun's bright face, you don't use any filters. You look right at it. You can look right at it with binoculars, you can look right at it with a telescope. But at all other times, during the partial phases, before and after totality, or if you're not in the path of totality, throughout the partial eclipse, you must use safe solar filters. What are safe solar filters, you ask? The most common kind available now are these eclipse shades or eclipse glasses. If you go online and search for solar eclipse shades or solar eclipse glasses, you'll find many suppliers many retailers who sell them. They're cheap, they're like a buck or two a piece. And they're made from a special material that blocks all but about a millionth of the sun's light. And that's across the whole electromagnetic spectrum, so it makes looking at the sun directly perfectly safe. So the proper way to use these is to not look at the sun, but to put them on and then look up at the sun. Dark sunglasses won't work. Any other filter that you can improvise won't work. Feinberg also says one of the best ways to watch the eclipse, especially the total phase if you're in the path of totality, is with binoculars. There's just one thing to remember. You cannot use them at any other time unless you have special filters that go over the front of the binoculars. Okay? These are only used this way without any filters during the total phase of the eclipse. If you want to capture a souvenir photo, you don't need anything more elaborate than a cell phone camera. But as Rick explains, the same solar filter rules apply. Except during totality, you have to use a safe solar filter, and it has to go in front of the camera. So what I do is I take half of one of those eclipse shades that I showed you earlier, and I put it over the camera, and I tape it on so that it doesn't blow off or fall off. And then I can just point my cell phone up at the sun, zoom in, and take a picture. You can also resort to a true hands-on technique. You put the sun at your back, and you get out of the way, and you cross your fingers, make a little waffle pattern with your fingers, and it creates several little holes between your fingers, and those project images of the sun right on the ground. If you're within the path of the moon's dark inner shadow on August 21st, you'll experience a total eclipse lasting at most two minutes, 40 seconds. During this brief phase, it's okay to look directly at the sun without filters. But at all other times, and at all times if you're outside the path of totality, follow the safety instructions Feinberg described. Except during totality, never look at the sun through a camera, binoculars, or a telescope unless it is covered over the front by a safe solar filter. Never use eclipse shades while looking through a camera, binoculars, or a telescope. The concentrated sunlight will melt the eclipse shades you're wearing and injure your eyes. On August 21st, wherever you are in North America, enjoy the eclipse safely.